What is up there guys, this is Corbin, I want to take some time in this video to talk about one of my favourite PvP talents, a little bit clunky to use, but it's just so, so fucking strong, its name is Case of Fragility. Case of Fragility, one of the, one of the latest PvP talents that you unlock, one of the fucking best. 45 second cooldown, reduce the target's maximum health by 20% for 10 seconds. Fucking awesome. So how does this spell work mechanically? It is exactly what it says in the damn tooltip. Reduces the target's max health by 20%. You can see me here in a duel with Angus. He's helped me out. Just been a little, little PvP tag dummy. He's sitting on around, I think it's 1. 1.8 million health. Because, we, you know, we, we're outside of instanced PvP, so the preset stats aren't in effect. 1.8 million health. When we apply Curse of Frag, his health drops by around, I think it's 380 million, his max health. So, in effect, Curse of Fragility just dealt a temporary 380 million damage. Why is this so, so fucking good? Well, if you're planning on popping all cooldowns, like we're gonna get to in just a little bit, um, having your target's max health reduced by 20% just makes them so, so vulnerable to all the best damage. That's just fucking awesome. Now, what actually happens if you go ahead and use Curse of Frag on someone who's 50% health? Fairly obvious, but I thought I'd just show a little example here anyway. You can see here, Angus is sitting around half HP. Needless to say, Curse of Frag is half as effective. You want to use Case of Agility on people when they are full health. Um, you're going to get the most effect out of it. That way, if you use it on someone who's only half health, then reducing their max health by 20% is in effect only going to reduce their current health by, well, a lot less depending on what health they're currently at. So the best way to use Curse of Fragility is nice and early. Use it just as you're setting up your burst damage. It should be the button that you press before you go ahead and pop Firestone and spam out the Dimensional Rifts. Um, in 7.1, that's going to change a little bit. We're probably not going to be specking into Firestone. Uh, but the effect, uh, sorry, the usage is still going to be pretty much the same. Now, the spell is a little bit clunky to use. I will throw that out there. A um, little bit clunky to use. It is on the global cooldown. And it's also additionally clunky to use. Because at least right now with the Shadowband spec, you also want to kind of pre-buff yourself with Mana Tap. That uses up another global cooldown. So it wants to go something like Mana Tap, then Curse of Fragility, then fucking Soul Harvest or, or Daxol, you know, whatever uh, whatever the hell you want to call it. And then Firestone. So it's like, it's, it's just one of an amalgam of abilities that you've got to kind of layer on. It's a little bit cumbersome to do because like I say, it is on the global cooldown. Um, that sucks a little bit. It can also be decast. It can be dispelled. Shit to be wary of, all right, when you go ahead and use this ability. But even in even in the face of all of those little shortcomings, you know, such such a fucking strong spell. It just preps people to take base damage so so well. You're gonna see when the example clips coming up. Um, if I haven't shown it already, Rena Jewel with some mage, and of course again the preset PVP stats aren't in effect, so he's lacking uh, a couple of hundred thousand points of health. And the speed at which we base this guy down. It's just fucking ridiculous. It's One last thing to point out, actually, before I go ahead and forget this. 45 second cooldown on Curse of Fragility. 45 second cooldown on Firestone. It means that every time you want to burst with your Firestone, you can pre-debuff them with Curse of Frag and just make the Firestone that much more scary of a cooldown uh, for your opponents to deal with. Because, you know, having 100% crit is one thing and the injection of those two free soul shards makes you extremely, extremely powerful. It's just all the more effective if your opponent is missing, you know, three or four hundred thousand points of health uh, from the max health total. Well, that's what I'm going to do for now. So I want to get to the clips really, really quick. Only got a few clips, but hey, I think they'll be worth showing off. Why not? Before we get to that, I want to shout out Mr. Israel Maconi, Israel Maconi, and Jack Yagami, who can be new patrons all up on the Patreon page. Really, really appreciate the support. It's fucking awesome. And also Mr. Satanik, Satanik, and Timmy Modesty Frost. Elbro. For actually, uh, for actually updating their pledges, increasing the pledges a little bit. Fuck it, that shit's worth a shout out as well. Thanks a lot, you guys. Let's get to the clips.
I'm going on the shaman. Drinking this shit, man. I'm on with you, man. So he's damaging. Yes, we won the yeah, game. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, get over it. Oh, that didn't sound like a genuine apology. Fuck's sake. <laughs> I killed this guy in a fucking duel. And then you and Daddy vote for sorry as sorry, get over it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just like, oh god, Cobb, you savage. Like, leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake, we already killed him. Remember you can support the channel by liking, commenting, and subscribing, and checking out our Patreon page, which is always linked below in the description. So cheers again, everyone, and I will see you all tomorrow. We did it, man! <laughs> <laughs> this is what this game's come to. This is what this game's come to. <laughs>